Okay, this is a short video on how to use Gretel to run a simple linear regression. So here I have Gretel installed on my computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to open a spreadsheet. Spreadsheet named Consumption. So it's an Excel 97 2003 uh, spreadsheet. If I open it, here I have two columns, one for income and one for consumption. We have 40 observations. And what we're going to do is we're going to read this spreadsheet into Gretel. So let's close Excel. Uh, let's remember that I have that spreadsheet in uh, directory E. And we're going to open Gretel. So we open Gretel, File, Open Data, Import. And as you can see, we can import data from many formats, Stata, SPSS, Excel, or uh, CSV or text files. We're going to open Excel, an Excel file. So we're going to look for in uh, directory E, in disk E, I have uh, consumption. The consumption, I'm going to open the file and then it asks uh, where do I start importing. So I start importing in column 1 and row 1. And now I get this message saying uh, that uh, Gretel has interpreted uh, the spreadsheet as an undated or cross-sectional uh, data set. That's correct. So it's not a time series. It's not a panel uh, data set. So we're going to say no here. So we get, uh, we have read the data into Gretel. Uh, can we take a look at it? Display values, yeah. Income, can I take a look at the values for consumption? Yep. Yeah. Or we can select both and take a look at that. So 40 observations, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we wanna run our first regression. Uh, so we're gonna select model and the first option is ordinary least squares, which is exactly what we want. So uh, now we get this dialog. Uh, the program asks, what's the dependent variable? What's the independent variable or independent variables? Uh, in this case, we only have one independent variable and we have one dependent variable. The dependent variable is consumption. So let's select that one. And income is gonna be our independent variable. Notice that Gretel always uh, includes a constant uh, among the independent variables. We're gonna uh, keep a constant always as an independent variable. If we hit OK, then we're gonna get our output. This is the output we're gonna discuss in class. Uh, we're gonna extract from this output uh, the estimated equation, the standard errors. Uh, we're gonna interpret it, the p-values, uh, the r-square, the adjusted r-square, uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, in class, I'm going to say something about uh, confidence intervals for the coefficients, so we can find them. Confidence interval for the coefficients. We had two coefficients: the constant and the slope for income. And here we have our 95% confidence intervals. Uh, what else? Uh, we can produce forecasts. Static forecasts. Uh, for uh, what, what the program is going to do is going to produce a forecast for each observation in the sample. Here we have 40 observations. If we do that at the 95% confidence interval, uh, we're going to get both. We're going to get the graph uh, with the confidence interval, and we're going to get uh, the actual numbers. So this is the actual consumption level. This is the prediction. Uh, this is going to be the standard error, and here's our 95% confidence interval for each observation in the sample. If we had new data, uh, we could include, uh, we could produce forecasts for uh, those new data. Okay, uh, so I'm going to stop uh, the video now. Uh, anything else? Forecast? Well, we can we can produce graphs too. Uh, and we can do some tests, but I'm not going to talk about that now.